Here's the truth about airplane mode. It's not just a leftover rule from the 1990s. It's there because your phone's signal can interfere with the aircraft, just not in the way most people think. When your phone searches for a signal at 35,000 feet, it connects to multiple towers at once, sometimes dozens. That burst of radio frequency energy can leak into cockpit headsets, navigation antennas, and communication channels as static or clicks. Now imagine that, but multiplied by hundreds of phones at once. Airliners rely on ultra-sensitive systems like VHF radios, ILS receivers and radar altimeters, all tuned to specific frequencies. A rogue mobile transmission might not crash the plane, but it can cause momentary interference at the worst possible time, like during approach or takeoff. That's why regulators keep the rule universal, even if modern shielding makes it rare. Airplane mode simply shuts off your phone's transmitters. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth can stay on if approved, but cellular radio must stay silent. Cabin Wi-Fi runs on isolated frequencies routed through certified onboard antennas. No risk to flight systems. It's controlled connectivity, not chaos in the ether. Airplane mode prevents network interference. Phones at altitude connect to multiple towers. Static and crosstalk can affect radios. Cabin Wi-Fi uses shielded certified systems. So, is airplane mode still essential or just aviation tradition we're too cautious to retire?